Hello, everybody. My name is Andrea. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for hopping on, watching the video. Click like. I love the likes and feel free to comment anytime. This is actually, this video is from a comment that I got on my channel. And somebody was asking a question of what do you need when you're going moving to different states. If you are a dental hygienist, what types of things do you need to prepare for? Can you work in other states? What do you need to do in order to do that? So this, that's a very loaded question, but I'm going to explain it, of course, for you here. That's the purpose of this video. But the rule of thumb is going to be, it varies so much. They don't make it easy for us. I've been a dental hygienist now for a while. I've been in the dental profession since since I was 19. So I was a dental receptionist, dental assistant, a dental hygienist, and then I became a restorative dental hygienist, which you're not allowed to do in all areas. And I am, I am also a mobile dental hygienist. So I have my own practice, which you're not able to do in all states, not all areas. So my first question is, what type of dental hygienist are you? Are you a registered dental hygienist? Are you a registered restorative dental hygienist? Are you a mobile dental hygienist where you go into people's homes? Which dental hygienist are you? Are you able to give local anesthetics? Some areas you can, some you cannot. Are you able to have your own business as a dental hygienist or do you have to work alongside a dentist? So you need to figure out which one you are and then where you're going to move to what they allow you to do. For example, here in Ontario, we can have our own business, but you can't in every area. A lot of dental hygienists still have to work alongside a dentist. I cannot give local anesthetic, but in other areas, you can. You might not be able to have your own business there, but you can give needles. I know, weird. So you really, the best thing to do is contact the Dental Hygiene Association specific to where you're going to move to because it varies so much, you guys. I can't even tell you. It varies so much. Contact them either by phone, email. They probably won't get back to you right away. So give it a couple of weeks, but they will get back to you and they will help you. Another thing you could do is join those groups on Facebook, those dental hygiene groups on Facebook. I'm part of many. There's dental hygiene professionals group. There's dental hygienists of Ontario. There's Canada dental hygienists. There's dental hygienists in the States. There's so many different ones. Feel free to join any of those and post a question. Somebody else from your area might be able to help you. So I hope that helps. Comment below with any questions. But again, you guys, I can't stress this enough. It's different everywhere. So please check with your local dental hygiene association where you're moving to on what the regulations are. But I will quickly state state, <laughs> moving to the States, States. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Not really, but anyway, <laughs> oh boy. I've been working you guys all day. Bear with me. <laughs> oh goodness. Anyway, no, I'm not going to edit that part out. It was silly. I'm going to leave it. As you guys probably know, if you've watched my channel, I don't edit my videos. Who has time for that? Not me. And you guys don't mind, right? Right. Anyway, the last thing that I want to say is these things can take time. So let's say you're moving from Ontario to the States. You will have to take a different board exam. If you took your board exam in the States, you can most likely not have to take another one as long as you stay within the States. But let's say you're moving from the States to Canada, you will have to take another board exam in order to be a licensed registered dental hygienist. But please check with your local Dental Hygiene Association. Even if you don't have to take another board exam because you're moving within the same area per se, um, you will have to be licensed for that area. So just because I'm licensed here, I would not just be able to move somewhere next week and be licensed there. I have to apply for that with the local Dental Hygiene Association. You can do that online. So that's another note. Comment below with any questions. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Click like to this video if you haven't yet. I would love that. And I will talk to you guys all very, very soon.